Hi, this is Arun from FE Square, uh, Kaja Cyclone. Huge, huge, huge damage to the hard work of my hard work of my dad. 50 years of hard work. He has created 100 acres of coconut field, and everything has uh, completely devastated in the cyclone. Uh, you can have a look of uh, some of the pics. Uh, my farmlands, uh, huge devastation to my farmlands. Uh, my our petrol station, both of the petrol station have uh, hugely uh, shattered uh, because of the cyclone, and even my uh, other places, my home and and a few other uh, business places, were hugely, hugely uh, damaged. Uh, but uh, not hundred percent, but uh, it's a great damage for us. Uh, still, I couldn't believe what had happened uh, in the cyclone night. Uh, I was really confused because when I returned from London in 2015, December, I was really confident. I was really building big businesses. I was building brands. I've started a couple of other businesses. Uh, even uh, we uh, successfully uh, finished constructing a huge uh, commercial center and everything was going very fine. Uh, but in one night, uh, uh, most of our uh, uh, business areas and farmlands was uh, devastated uh, in the Kajwa cyclone. Uh, though we have uh, business in Chennai and Bangalore, but the core uh, part is our, in our uh, hometown. Uh, it's a huge damage for us. I was really, really confused. I don't know what to do and uh, I'm going to rebuild everything. Uh, then I went to my mentors. I usually follow five mentors in my life. Uh, not uh, one-on-one, -on -one, but I read all their books, articles, blogs, and everything. Uh, uh, namely, my mentors are Kiyosaki, uh, Grant Cardone, Patrick Bedevitt, uh, Brandon Turner, Chris Crown. Those are my, uh, those people are my mentors. I read all their books once they're out. I read all their articles and blogs and watch their videos always. So I went back to all the books which I read and uh, referred to the notes. And even a few of my mentors have uh, faced same situation in their life. So I, can, I found the three things which I should practice during the time of crisis, uh, especially during a rebuilding stage. Uh, after practicing these three things uh, for a couple of days, everything started to change in me. Uh, as I'm a native, so much of uh, negativity and um, sufferings it affected me mentally but after practicing these three things which my mentor uh, mentors said to me my attitude changed uh, the way i uh, look at the losses changed my confidence level uh, went up i'm really confident enough uh, to rebuild everything in three to four years of time those three things are namely at first uh, show up every day without any fail. Whatever happens in your life, just show up every day. Go to your office. Uh, don't lose uh, hope and keep uh, working on your dreams and goals. Show up every day without any fail. Whatever happens, just show up every day. That's the number one thing I learned. The number two thing and the second thing I learned is be positive and have a smiling face. Uh, uh, be humble to everyone uh, because if you lose your positivity, then you lose most of your... Uh, uh, energy and uh, your future. So don't lose your positive, uh, positivity. Though uh, people spread negativity and suffer, there are sufferings, just be positive. Have a smiling face and humble. That's the second thing. Be positive and keep smiling. Whatever happens in your life. The number third thing, have faith and hope for the best. Uh, and uh, uh, put all your hard work with a lot of faith and hope. So the third thing is faith. Have faith and hope for the best so i have a huge faith now i hope that i can bring it back everything in uh, three to four days of time uh, particularly in my hometown uh, so these are the three things i repeat number one uh, show up every day whatever happens in your life just show up every day number two keep uh, smiling and be positive number three have a lot of faith and hope so that you can rebuild everything. These are the three things I practiced for the couple of days and my attitude changed. The way I uh, looked at everything changed. I feel much confident now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to rebuild everything in three to four years of time. Uh, today is uh, 25th uh, November 2018. Uh, so I'm going to make the same topic video on uh, 25th November 2019 and 25th November 2020 and check how far I'm uh, successful in rebuilding everything, how far successful in uh, keeping the faith and working hard, how far I'm 
uh happy and positive so i'm going to make the same video uh, the uh, same date the next year and the next year till 2020 or even uh, up to 2021 check how for uh, everything uh, things um uh started to change or rebuild so i'm going to make the same topic uh, for the next uh, two years and check how far i'm able to rebuild everything uh so thanks for watching and one more thing and if you want to donate to the uh, people uh, who lost almost everything in their life they, they lost all all their life savings so if you want to donate i have uh, put my account, have uh, given my account number in the description box below so you can refer to it and donate it uh, we have done a, a huge uh, uh, donation process for the past one week uh, we donated a, a lot of rice and uh, candles and mosquito coils water bottles biscuits whatever uh, i can and uh, the people can we uh, donated to the people uh, and keep working on uh, donating more and more so if you can please uh, donate uh, to us it will be a huge help for even if you donate us a rupee or a, even a single rupee or 10 to 20 rupees or 50 rupees it will be a big amount uh, for uh, for the people of delta so please if you can donate um to the account number in the description box uh, uh see you in my next video uh until then have a good care bye bye